In a small village on the edge of the forest, there lived a toy maker. The toy maker made toys all his life. He could make almost anything out of wood. He made toy cars, and toy trucks, and toy helicopters, and he made toy animals, and blocks, and all kinds of other things. One day, some children asked their parents if they could gather by the window to watch the toy maker. Their parents said yes, and so they all went up to the window and they watched the toy maker make his toys. They also looked around the room at all the different toys he made. When the toy maker noticed that there were children watching through the window, he went outside and he gave one of his toys to each of the children. Hello to you, the toy maker said. Hello, said the first little boy. I've been making toys all my life. It's what I love to do. And this one is a very special toy and I made it just for you. But I wanted a truck, the little boy said, and these wheels are much too small. I wanted something better than this. I don't like this toy at all. He left the truck in the toy maker's hand and the little boy walked away. Hello to you, the toy maker said. Hello, said the first little girl. I've been making toys all my life. It's what I love to do. And this one is a very special toy. And I made it just for you. But I don't want a duck, the little girl said. I'd much rather have a doll. The head is too big and it has wheels instead of feet. I don't like this toy at all. She left the duck in the toy maker's hand and the little girl walked away. Hello to you, the toy maker said. Hello, said the next little boy. I've been making toys all my life. It's what I love to do. And this one is a very special toy and I made it just for you. But I wanted a different train, the little boy said. The smokestack is much too tall, the wheels are too big, and the train is too short. I don't like this toy at all. He left the train in the toy maker's hand, and the little boy walked away. Hello to you, the toy maker said. Hello, said the last little girl. I've been making toys all my life, and it's what I love to do. And this one is a very special toy, and I made it just for you. The little girl paused, and she started to look around. She noticed some trees that were cut down nearby. Did you cut down those trees yourself? The little girl asked. Why, yes, said the toy maker. That's where I get the wood to make my toys. Your arms must be tired, the girl said. Then the little girl noticed some of the toy maker's tools. Do you make all of these toys with your hands? 
Why, yes, said the toy maker. I make each toy by hand using these tools. Your hands must be really tired, the girl said. Then the little girl noticed some food left out on the table. Was that supposed to be your lunch? the girl asked. Why, yes, the toy maker said. I skipped my lunch. I wanted to hurry so I could finish these toys for all of the children. You must be very hungry, the girl said. Why do you work so hard? the girl asked. Why do you want to make all these toys? I've been making toys all my life, the toy maker said, and it's what I love to do. And this one is a very special toy. I made it just for you. The girl looked at the toy maker and she looked at the toy and she said, Thank you. Did you know that Heavenly Father is kind of like the toy maker? Heavenly Father loves us and he has worked very hard to give us lots of blessings. If you take the time to look around, you'll be able to see how much Heavenly Father loves you and all the things that he has done just for you. Praise ye the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. Primary Scriptures is proud to sponsor this video. Use the code Latter-day Kids to get free shipping on your next order.